Hi, this is part two. So just to let you know quantity wise, um, this is a one quart mason jar and I had it filled up with uh, passion fruit. And just to let you know that my technique of mashing the fruit through the sieve, um, when I mashed my passion fruit through a sieve, basically I got one quart of passion fruit juice and one quart of passion fruit pulp with the seeds. So um, pretty much you can get out a quart of juice and then you'll be left with um, the pulp and seeds that you cannot really do anything more with in that state. So now I'm going to show you how I further process um, this because there's so much fruit and juice left. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing um, the passion fruit with watermelon right now and I love this combination, okay? So what I have here is I have the watermelon already pre-made and then here I put in um, about a pint of passion fruit um, pulp with the seeds and I'm going to blend it with the watermelon. I'm going to show you in a second. This is a, a regular food processor Cuisinart and so step one is to put uh, about a pint of the passion fruit in the food processor. Step two is to put about a cup of watermelon juice into the food processor and blend. Before you uh, remove the fruit, make sure that this fruit has separated from the seeds, okay? So don't take it out if it's not separated. If it hasn't separated, then, then blend again, okay? As I said, I've been doing this for an hour, so the, the sieve is kind of um, already dirty from the passion fruit, but notice it's a really wide mesh. There's wide openings for the the puree. Okay, so now I'm going to pour. And basically you want to take advantage, you want to take advantage of the uh, surface area And I kind of roll, I roll the fruit to make it go faster. I don't have my helper right now, sorry, it's awkward to film and do this at the same time. Okay guys, so basically I, I rolled it around and what I got out was all this juice. I got out a lot of juice. Um, if you want, I'll go ahead and measure it. But notice how, notice how the seeds don't have any pulp. And I'm going to continue to let it uh, drain to get even more juice out. Um, the last hour I did this batch already and it, it drained pretty well so I got most of it off okay okay to end the video you see that I got um, almost a pint maybe three-fourths of a pint of the puree and I'm going to add it now to uh, both watermelon juice and to cantaloupe juice I just made uh, Cantaloupe juice and watermelon juice are both sweet, and the passion fruit is pretty tart, rather sour, so it's going to be a sweet and sour juice. I'm not going to mix the two. I'm going to keep them separate, but um, I'm going to share the uh, passion fruit with both of them. And I prefer to have my melon juice with something tart, like um, tart orange or lemon juice, or sometimes um, like passion fruit or anything, anything tart, or even sometimes mint. All right, guys, uh, enjoy. 
One last comment about this uh, passion, fruit, passion fruit puree is that it is so tart. I just tried it. You could never tell that I added a cup of watermelon juice because it is so tart. It tastes just like really, really sour tart passion fruit. Um, it tastes like there's even lemon juice in it. So really I did good by getting a lot of the fruit out of it. And guys, this is the way that um, has been able to make me enjoy passion fruit because before it was a chore and it was annoying to you to deal with all the seeds so um, remember just use a widescreen sieve okay take care there's actually more to the story uh, when I thought I was gonna finish I realized there was still a lot of pulp on the seeds and so three more times I added watermelon juice to the seeds um, and I kept rinsing them again and again and again because I felt like there was still some left. And right now my juice is super tart, and so I'm doing it one last time here. Hi everybody. So the ultimate um, test that that it's done is that after the fourth rinse, I put some seeds in my mouth, and honestly, what it tastes like is watermelon. So normally the seeds have a, a really tart flavor because there's still some fruit left on the seed, but in this case, I rinsed them four times in watermelon juice. I got all the fruit off, and so now. They're totally rinsed off. I've extracted all the passion fruit. I've done a great job. I have wasted no food. Some people pay $5 for a little strawberry basket full of these passion fruits. So I had boxes of them and this uh, tart astringent fruit is very medicinal. So I did really good by not wasting any. And again, it was four times of bathing it in watermelon juice. So i um, feeling pretty happy and have a great day. Oh, I wanted to show you the uh, the fruit juice, and basically it's kind of like a puree. After I've after I've bathed it about um, four times, it's no longer watermelon juice, but more like a passion fruit watermelon puree. I'll show you the rest. So this is just showing you the viscosity. It's really viscous. It's really like a puree, and that was due to um, doing the four, time, four times bath. I'm going to add it to more juice. I'm going to add it to more watermelon juice because it's too tart right now. Now this is the final goodbye.